Welcome back to Your Voice. The American India Foundation's New York Young Professionals Chapter held their fifth annual gala dinner at the Metropolitan Pavilion in New York City. Let's join these young leaders and see what they have to say about their efforts to inspire social and economic change in India. We're here having a great event tonight. We have over 400 people uh, to support us in our fifth annual summer and spring gala. Uh, this year, AIF, the Young Professionals Chapter, has been supporting the Nas Foundation, which is located in India and supports children and orphans who have been afflicted, unfortunately, with the AIDS virus. All of our contributions and profits from tonight are going to go straight to the Nas Foundation, and we're really going to help them build new facilities, uh, pay for new education, materials, etc. AIF was founded in 2001 under the leadership of President Bill Clinton, and it focuses on three main um, areas, education, public health, and, um, lively and livelihood uh, in India, and works on the development space there. To date, it's partnered with over 115 different nonprofits within India. Tonight, we're celebrating our fifth annual gala, and the, all the proceeds from the evening will go to Nas Foundation, a, a Delhi-based NGO that focuses on providing care and support to children who've been impacted by HIV or AIDS. We have over 400 guests here, all gathering towards the cause of supporting change and celebrating progress. It's been a really fun evening filled with drinks, dancing, and of course, awareness building for Nas Foundation based in India. Thank you so much for coming to the gala. We have 400 guests. This is an amazing time. It's our fifth annual gala. We've had a record amount of uh, money that we've raised this year for the Nows Foundation, and thank you so much for your support. I'm at the AIF Young Professionals Gala, as opposed to old amateurs. No old amateurs, no uncles and aunties, all young professionals. You can see these people, these are the beautiful people, the creme de la creme, the, the best of the best of the best of the Indian community are here tonight. It's absolutely amazing. Now we had Dr. Ashwin, who was uh, Mr. Ashwin, who was talking about the fantastic efforts that he's doing in India, and we had Mr. None other than President Bill Clinton himself call in by video and give us a video of congratula congratulatory congratulations. That's kind of redundant. Congratulating everyone who's helped out with AIF. The goal of this event tonight, we're having our fifth annual gala to support AIF and to create awareness for our partner organization, uh, which is called Nas Foundation, which does a lot of work with kids born with uh, HIV and AIDS. Uh, it's a really powerful organization. Uh, AIF, specifically, this event uh, is geared towards creating that awareness, engaging young professionals in a meaningful way, and sharing uh, the AIF message with them. We have about 400 to 500 people here today uh, to support AIF, to raise funds. Um, and so it's been a great honor to support NAS and support AIF. Um, and thank you for having us and thank you for coming today. What we're doing right here is, is a gala. Um, and uh, it's, it's a fifth year annual gala that we're doing. Um, and, and why we do it is, 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 is more important. Um, and that's because um, you know, we, we all want to be, um, somehow want to be a part of, of what's happening in India, the, the, the growth factor down there and so many people that are being ignored. Um, there's a lot of development that's happening. However, there's a lot of individuals that are, being, that are, that are not being taken care of. Um, so what American India Foundation does is uh, they find opportunities in partnerships with, with nonprofit organizations. Um, and, and, and through their um, knowledge and through our, um, one, one could say, um, pockets and, and our opportunity to be able to find capital for, for these nonprofit organizations, we're able to raise money uh, for the right causes in India. I'm really excited. As you can probably see behind us, there's a number of folks here tonight. More than 400 people showed up for our event tonight and to show their support for India and also the good work that we're doing with NAS Foundation. And one of the reasons I got involved with this organization is that it's an opportunity for young professionals like myself to get involved and and, and sort of participate in a way that we can contribute in a real real way. And the wonderful thing about the NAS Foundation is that they help people with children, children who are orphans that have HIV or AIDS, and they're giving them education and access to all sorts of things. And it's really important that, you know, folks like ourselves who live in New York and it's very far away from India. The nonprofit organization Children's Rights and You, or CRY, recently held a press conference to discuss their current goals and projects to promote the welfare and rights advocacy of children in need in India. Let's take a look at some clips that illustrate their mission further and then see what the press conference is all about.
We see CRI board members and spokespeople representing the organization at the press conference. We'll then sit in on CRI America President Shefali Sundarlal's conversations with CRI spokespeople, lauded chef Manit Johan of Chopped and Iron Chef fame, and Time Magazine's world editor Bobby Ghosh. Bobby, uh, what do you think about uh, the situation of education for India's children? Well, there's been a lot of progress in the last 20, 25 years, but there's been progress in only sort of small slivers of society, the middle classes, the upper classes, and the government likes to say, well, 93% of Indian kids now are enrolled in school. But the government conveniently forgets to inform us is that 30, 40% of those kids will drop out after a couple of years. And of course, as you know, the dropout rates are much worse for girls than they are for boys. So there's a, there's a tendency to, to try and brush this under the carpet a little bit. And so it sort of falls to the media and it falls to uh, non-government organizations like CRI to shine a light on this. You know, people keep talking about India shining and India rising, and, and that's great. We need to celebrate it. But there's a whole second India that's still stuck in the 1960s, the poor India that needs more than ever now the attention. And so the, it, it, it's not just, you can't just be left to the government. It is, it is the responsibility of the rich India, the Indians who've succeeded, who've risen out of uh, poverty and uh, uh, and backwardness to now reach back and help those that they left behind. And, and, and that's the role of the private sector, that's the role of the non-profit sector, and that's where I have the greatest hope for change and improvement. Would you like to say a little bit about the girl-child uh, issue of nutrition um, in terms of why you feel it's so important for India's kids? I think, I think it's also, um, it's, it's a personal issue and it's a professional issue for me. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm a new mom, I have a daughter, and um, I see her and I'm so excited about her future because I know that she'll have all of these opportunities. And, um, and then I, I think of all of these children in India who do not have the opportunity, the right to, to grow. And, and that is a very personal issue for me. And then when it comes on a professional side, I mean, nutrition is so important. Uh, you know, we, we are constantly looking into different aspects of life, but nutrition is something which is so important and we really need to make sure that the kids in India are getting the proper nutrition because once they are physically fit, they're going to be mentally fit and be a complete all-rounded human being. So as, as Manit was uh, saying, no, every parent wants a better life for their child, especially uh, in India with so many children being malnourished, not having access to education, not having access to drinking water. Um, the uh, CRY um, supports projects in various parts of India that really work closely with the communities, who work closely with the government agencies to ensure that the public health and the education uh, systems work. Today, we have thousands of uh, children who go to school and are provided regular health checkups, immunization, and um, are really realizing uh, their dreams. Um, and we hope you will join us. Do join Cry America at www.america.cry.org. एक That's all for this week's exciting episode of Your Show, Your Voice. Thank you so much for joining us. And since this show wouldn't be possible without you and your valuable feedback, keep emailing us at yourvoice at globosatent.com 
and visit us on the web at gen-i.us.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Juhi Desai. Sahara Pranam. <laughs> <laughs>